Código Lioco. Interface transferred, activated. Virtual memory activated. Code management configured. Scanners activated and verified. Targeting okay. This time it's gonna work. Ready, Aelita? Ready. Here we go. It's working. Jeremy this morning? I think he spent the night in the laboratory. He was working on something really important. Hmm. I lead up. Yeah! Oh! Hey, I thought it was time out. Oh, guess I forgot. Hey, guys, guess what I did last night? Let's see now. It's got something to do with materializing. I lead up? That's right. See, how did you guess, Odd? Well, guys, I finally did it. I decided to tackle the problem in a different way. You wouldn't believe it, but... Well, tell us, did you do it or not? I sure did. What? <sighs> hmm. You materialized a test tube. No, Airhead. Look inside, will you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A hair? You mean you materialized one hair? Yep, that's right, Odd. <sighs> To be exact, it's a hair of Aelita's. Oh. What? A real hair? But how did you manage that? Well, I chose a hair because it's a simple anatomical structure, but which contains Aelita's complete <sighs> genetic computer code, according to a well-known fractal whose oh. recurrences are comparable to the genetic code of a human, which enabled me to make a physiological number transfer onto one part of the program already pre-targeted and defragmented. And that's that. Simple enough, right? Do you follow? No. No, it's not simple enough, or no, you don't follow? Uh, no means that we take your word for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no problem. It'll become clear when Aelita's here in flesh and blood. Better get ready, Aelita. Okay, Jeremy. Huh? You're gonna materialize her now? <laughs> what do you think? I'm not gonna wait until next year. The hair was just a test before we do the whole thing. Listen, making a hair appear is one thing. Materializing Aelita is not the same. Look. You want to spend your whole life fighting Xana? Once Aelita's been materialized, we can unplug Xana once and for all and lead normal lives. So I say it's worth trying. How can that be? I planned everything so perfectly. You're almost there, Jeremy. In a few days, you'll be all set. You'll see. Hey, come on, you guys. If we don't materialize in a couple of minutes in the classroom, we're not going to last a few days. You know, I'd have sworn that it would work this time. But if the computer gene code of the hair gives you enough information to define the parameters for materialization, well, then what's the problem? I wish I knew. I'm doing something wrong. The only way to find out is to start over. No, don't do that. You're only a hair's breadth away. <laughs> Can't you ever be serious, Odd? By the way, Odd, speaking of hair, your dog sheds an awful lot of them. Most of them end up on my bed, too. What's the big deal about two or three hairs? 
two or three. With all the hairs he sheds, I could knit you another kiwi. Hello. Did you say dog? Oh, I really adore dogs. Hey, can I sit down? No. You know, I'm so crazy about dogs that I'm ready to keep my mouth shut about the one odds hiding in his room. That is, if you promise to be nicer to me, of course. Listen, sissy, I'm warning you. If you say anything about Kiwi, I'll... <gasps> oh! Oh! Ooh. Mm. You okay, Yumi? There we are. Oh, it's nothing serious. The cut isn't very deep. Here, put this on it, please. It's incredible. I barely squeezed the glass. They're pretty fragile, I guess. Fragile, huh? We're not talking about Venetian crystal. Lunchroom plastic's more like it. Anyway, I know what I'm in for if I get on your nerves. <laughs> uh. oh. What? Mm -hmm. On our way. I don't believe it. It's a disaster. What is? I was trying to figure out why the materialization didn't work, and I realized that Ailita's program is all full of bugs. <gasps> when I materialized the hair, I I hit a button I shouldn't have, and so I, I damaged the Annex programs. Annex? That doesn't sound so bad. That's what you think. The part of the program linking Ailita to the towers is screwed up. If Ailita enters the Lyoko code, she'll be completely reformatted. Meaning? She'll disappear forever. You know, Jeremy, a program can be debugged. We can do it together. What if Xana attacks before we're done? Hmm, that means you gotta work fast, Jeremy. Okay, make up a story to tell to the teachers. I'm mm -hmm. not leaving this computer until I've solved the problem. You think they can do it? What do you think? We've got two geniuses at work. Huh. Hey, Odd, if you don't get Kiwi to calm down, they're gonna find him. Hey, quiet, Kiwi. You heard me quiet down. What's the matter? Did you smell something? What's going on? Kiwi. Whoa, did you do that? Well, maybe it was a ball that did it. And you, of course, didn't see anything. I couldn't have seen anything, Jim, because I wasn't here. Maybe so. But since all the rooms are off limits during the day, how come you knew about the window? Ulrich, clean up your bed. There's hair all over it. I don't know. What happened? Everything's cool. Jim didn't spot Kiwi. But it was close. Kiwi will have to stay with Jeremy for a while. Why don't you scan the STR connection blocks? I already did. That's not where I went wrong. Stop chewing my slipper. Oh, sorry, Alita. I was talking to the dog. When he's around, it's hard to concentrate. Oh, oh. What is it? Oh, nothing. Give that back to me! Give it back! Oh, that dog, he took my, my handkerchief. Oh, take him away, please. Oh, that mutt. Oh! Oh! I was just passing by. I always said Sissy's head was full of plaster. <laughs> I'm heading for the lab. With the dog barking and the school falling apart, I can't work in my room. See ya. I hope he finds the right solution before Xana attacks again. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, anybody home? Uh, uh, all these things happening are really weird. First Yumi's glass breaks, then the window gets shattered, and now the ceiling. You think it's Xana? Maybe it's just coincidence. Maybe. I'm back, Aelita. Oh no, I don't believe it. Not now. Okay, we can get back to work. Aelita? Are you there? It's Xana! He's launched an attack! Uh, 
are you... are you sure? Uh... Oh no, it can't be, not now. I've never seen such a thing in my entire career. You think humidity could have caused it, sir? I don't know. Doesn't look very damp. It's a dog. I've been after him for a long time. <laughs> what the? Whoa! Jim, we have to evacuate the building. Uh -huh. It's Xana for sure. Oh yeah, it's him. How does he do it? Your guess is as good as mine. But you heard, sissy. Kiwi began barking just before the ceiling fell. That might be a leap. With the window, it was the same. Maybe Kiwi can feel the attacks coming. Or maybe he can hear them like a kind of ultrasound. Mm. Jeremy. Xana alert. That's what we thought. Warn Yumi. Be right there. It's real this time. Xana has woken up. Your attention, please. Due to a danger of a structural accident, please evacuate the building calmly and leave the immediate area. No one will be permitted to enter the building until further notice. <gasps> Kiwi. He's in Jeremy's room. I'll go and get him. See you at the lab. Hello? Hi, Ulrich. What? Uh, I'm not really ready yet. Okay, I'll hurry. <laughs> Kiwi, where are you? Come on! Sneaky <laughs> dog. Huh? Didn't anyone ever teach you to knock, huh? Didn't you hear the principal? You gotta get out! The whole building may collapse! Come on, cut it out! No, I swear, I'm not joking! What's wrong with your dog? About face. Auric, oh, no. how are things going over there? There are cracks in the school building. It may cave in. Santa's using some kind of ultrasound system. Ultrasound, huh? That's possible. He could be using the electrical sockets. Listen, he might attack the factory. Odds on his way, and I've warned Yumi. Let's hope Santa gives me enough time to repair my program. Yes, Odd? Huh? I'm stuck, right? With Millie and Tamiya, if you must know. The firefighters huh? will be here any minute, so I can't meet you right now. No, don't wait. Go to Lyoko. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But I'm not finished fixing the program. Odd is in danger. Transfer me right now. What's going on? Transfer Ulrich. Scanner Ulrich. Virtualization. seem pretty calm. That's not what the pulsations say. If we follow them, they're bound to lead us to the tower Xana's activated. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what happened here? Stuck inside with Millie and Tamiya. Oh, oh we're the Harriet! Ah! Look, we can't stay here. 
We've got to cross over to the other side. Are you out of your mind, Odd? It's at least a 10 meter drop. Trust me, okay? I can't tell you how yet, but we're going to make it. In the meantime, we've got to get across where we'll be safe. Uh, no! No problem. Your turn now. Jeremy, we'll try to find another path. Too late. Okay, your turn, Millie. No, I'll never make it. Sure you will. Come on. Ah! got to deactivate the tower. Uh, no, give me a little more time. I'll start over again. Jeremy, you know there's no choice. You'll be reformatted and disappear, Aelita. I, I can't let you do that. Are you ready for one last run? No, Aelita. Don't do it. 
I'll be in front. Jeremy, it wasn't your fault. It was, and all that for a strand of hair. <sighs> hey, the hair! Jeremy, didn't you say that the hair contained Aelita's entire genetic code? Her computer code, yes, but... Is it possible to reverse things and recreate Aelita's code uh, from the strand of her hair? Ugh! Huh? Here we go. The codes are getting restored. Let's hope that... Jeremy. I'm ready for my materialization now. Hi, Lita. Hi, Lita. It yeah. worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, did I miss something? Why is there water on your face? I'll tell you later, Lita. This time we only missed by a hair. <laughs> <laughs>